everybody um we just came back home from costco and wenko and i just want to show you what i got because it's one of those big shopping trips so um yeah here goes i got some um organic maple syrup we i use it for like snacks that i make um over pancakes basically it lasts me quite a while because it's not, it's not a daily kind of product. And then I got some chia seeds. I love those. If you've seen my previous vlogs, you know how crazy I've been about those um, chia um, desserts that I've been making. Chia in milk or kombucha or juice, whatever you prefer. Um, and then you just top it with like a frozen berry or fresh berry or fruit of some sort so yeah i've been crazy about this and they actually just had this stuff on sale normally it's like a 14 dollar bag it has like a good two pounds in here so it's 14 dollars and they had four dollars off on each bag so obviously i've purchased three <laughs> My husband thought I was crazy for buying so many, but I'm just buying for ahead of time and it's an amazing savings of $4 per bag. That's 12 bucks. So yeah. Then I got me some hemp, um, raw hemp seeds. That goes into smoothie. Every single smoothie, whether it's for me or the kids or anybody, um, I always put hemp seeds. It's got like good amount of omegas. And it has protein. Basically, it's really, really good stuff. It's got like lots of good goodies in there. I don't know. No, can't see it on the camera. What? You want a smoothie? We can do that later, okay? Mama's gonna make finish this video and then I'll yeah, make can I Yes, you can. Then I got some cheese. Um, my kiddos love cheese, so I got two of these big blocks of cheese, um, especially Gabriel. He eats that cheese, like, at least once a day, okay? He's crazy about it. Um, and we take it in the car for their snack. I don't like it. Yeah, he says he doesn't like the cheese, yeah, right? I know better. Anyway, look, we got some batteries for our, um, for lots of some toys and things like that and then look we had an, a great sale on these um, organic um, Italian sauces um, they're normally like nine but we got them for six that is two dollars a jar that is really really good um, I like to go to grocery outlet here and there and um, like you can you probably can't even find this organic thing for two dollars there so it's really really good so I got two packages of that we love Italian. Um, I make meatballs. By the way, I'll be making meatballs today. Um, so, yeah. Then... <laughs> He's counting. Then we got some Campari tomatoes for salads. Mm -mm -mm. I got bananas. Here it goes. There's some bananas in here. Nice and yellow. Yeah, my boys love bananas, and we use them for smoothies and all that good stuff. Hmm. There's supposed to be two bananas. Yeah, two bunches of bananas right there. Green banana. Ah, we got a pineapple too. My husband's gonna be juicing. He he wants to juice once a day, preferably. Um, if it works out, you know. With pineapple. Yeah. So we got a pineapple to add to our green juices. And then I have here, um, not organic, but um, it's for juicing. So you toss all the fiber and you get the juice out of it. Um. So yeah, celery sticks for the juicing. Um. And mushrooms. I got some brown. Um, portobello okay, mushroom. It, you guys, careful with that. Remember it poked your eye? Yeah, you don't want it to poke your eye, okay? <laughs> so, watch out. So, yeah, we got some um, baby portobello mushrooms. And that will go into the meatballs and then other dishes that I'll be making. Um, then we got some um, greens. That's also for juicing and sandwiches and, and salads. 
Uh, let's see. What does it have? It's a, it's a blend of baby kale, chard, and spinach. So yeah, that's awesome. Then we got some sweet onions. Um, let's see. This oh, and this is Costco too. We got some organic orange mango juice. That's for the boys. That's for their breakfasts and lunches. Um, and then we got some sparkling water here. I cut it open. I'm gonna put it in a storage. But yeah, it's some sparkling water that my husband really likes. Um, sometimes we buy that Pellegrino. And this one is just whatever. I guess it, um, obviously a cheaper version and it has a little hint of like flavor. Um, let's see, what else? What else did we get? I think that's it for Costco. Yep. That's it for Costco. So, Winko. Let's see what we got at Winko. Not much. Well, I don't buy much stuff there. But today, we got some dairy gold butter. Um, basically, I, I, right now, I can't get my hands on some really good, high-quality butter because it's way too expensive for my budget. But um, dairy gold seems to be nice and yellow and softer than like even Telamook or some other ones. But I love Kerrygold, Kerrygold from Ireland or um, some other ones from Europe. I forget the name, but Kerrygold is my favorite. So yeah, um, if I can get that, if I can get my hands on that kind of butter, oh boy, you bet I'll probably be buying like 50 pounds of it. <laughs> yeah. That butter is one good butter. Let's see. Then I got some semi-sweet chocolate. I got two little bags. Um, that is for some baking stuff. For some snacks that I want to make. I want to make some, let's see, banana pancakes with a little bit of chocolate chips in them. So I'm kind of preparing, thinking ahead of time and preparing for postpartum. So I have some healthy snacks and desserts and maybe some meals at home in the freezer so that I don't have to rely on my husband entirely to prepare something, which he can make great eggs or he can make some delicious um, gourmet like beef and things like that with gravy. But I don't think I can eat that every single day and I don't want him to be cooking all day. Anyways, I don't think he would like that very much and I enjoy cooking and I enjoy making those unusual raw kind of snacks. So yeah, I got me some, I couldn't get um, raw cacao powder. So anyways, I ended up getting this, that's from Winko. I got just regular 100% cacao and it's unsweetened, it's just, it's just basically cocoa, that's it, nothing else. No sugar. And then this brand. I have no idea which one is better. Um, no idea. But, um, yeah. I got this one, too. Um, let's see. What else did I get? Oh. I got sour cream. And this is a sour cream that I buy. If I can't find organic at a great price, I buy this one. And all it has, I'll show you. I thought it was one of the cheap brands. But, and the ingredients, it just says, grade A cultured cream. That's it. Because some companies, they add like like um, locust bean and, and carrageenan and all those crazy ingredients that, or like whey or um, like powdered milk. It's just so unnecessary. And this is just cultured cream. Um, I like that, okay? <laughs> the less ingredients, the better. So I got two of them. I usually... Um, mix sour cream with their yogurt because I don't want them eating so much sweet yogurt so I'll add some sour cream and it makes it a lot more filling so they don't keep like eating and eating jug after jug but and this is the yogurt that my boys like um not the best not organic but um and it does have like some stuff but not too bad it's just cultured um, pasteurized grade A milk, cream, natural honey powder, which has cane sugar, inverted sugar, and honey. That doesn't sound like honey to me. That sounds like a bunch of sugar. Anyways, it's got some milk protein concentrate, vitamin A palm, uh, palmitate, vitamin D3, and cultures. So, yeah, I buy this one because it ha doesn't have any artificial kind of things. Um, so we got, what? We got three of them or four? 
Hmm, I think we got three of these yogurts um, because my husband likes it too. So, yeah. Three yogurts and then what else? Hmm. Got little uh, white chocolate chips for the boys. They wanted some. <laughs> they were asking to taste, so they tasted it there and they liked it and they, they kept asking for some. So, that is what we got. <laughs> And then I got some zucchinis. I got two zucchinis. I'll wash them up. I'll scrub them well. They're not organic. Um, so, not, I, yeah. Um, but I'll wash them real well. And they will go into my meatballs. I gotta basically put all of this away. And then I will start making my meatballs. Because um, we need something for dinner. And... Um, I don't want my meat to get old because if I do that tomorrow, then it probably will not be all that fresh So that's it I think that'll be all the vlogging for today because like I said I have a lot of work to do in the kitchen and Then my boys need attention and they'll probably be asking for food very soon I'll just be like swamped and I think my feet are gonna fall off My feet are already sore from walking through two stores um, So yeah Thanks for watching my Costco and Winko haul. Um, let's see. Stay tuned. <laughs>